Hi, hello. This is this is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see how to create or how to build a WQL query, and this would be the easiest method to build a WQL query, right? So the first thing is probably you can go to monitoring and uh, you can check the um, properties of any of these queries and check what is the exact query used in there, and you can try to use or design your kind of query but the easiest method which i'm going to share you today is something else right so let's go to assets and complaints and let me open this up this is the sms provider log uh, this is needed for this is needed or this is required find the WQL query in an easy way, right? This is the easiest method. Using SMS provider, SMS, using SMS prov dot log, SMS provider log, you can we can find out WQL queries which is used in console, right? Which is used by SMS provider when we navigate through different nodes in console it's, that would be very useful to understand right for example if i kind of doing start resource explorers kind of stuff like that you can see this this is kind of moving now and this is a query that is used when i opened resource explorer right so this is good indication where you can find the wql query right without much efforts right you just opened the resource explorer and you can confirm this with wbm test if you have not familiar with that with this wbm test probably you can watch the previous video and i will link that video to the description as well as there will be a pop-up coming up now if you can click on that if there is no instances that's okay let's check whether there is any other wql query this is another one that is related to management insights right so let me go back go down and check whether whether there is any other query which i can show you now useful one probably <laughs> okay that triggered something and let me check with the wql uh this is the one okay so let me try to see what is it trying to check ad group mapping were collection okay that's the one i don't want to check that uh, let me go up a bit and where collection type is one okay so probably this is user-based collections that is why this is the query to wql query to find out user-based collections let's check that right wma wbm test wbm test right so this is th there are five instances over here so let me try to check one of them find out what is this particular collection and yeah this is this is the collection all users and user groups that is this query got triggered when i clicked on user collections right so that's a good indication so if you want to so that's a good indication right and if you want to check or if you want to build a query for collecting all the user based collections here you go <laughs> you already got the logic for wql query so that's that's good stuff right let's try something else or one more thing probably right let's find out the query for device collections now i'm going to click on device node device collections node over here and that will trigger uh, this log file or that will trigger a wql query through this log file okay let me try to find out the wql query for that or this one one more okay so this is type 2 okay good type 1 is user collections and type 2 is type 2 is to find out device collections so so that's that's good <laughs> Okay, so I have a lot of device collections, right? 
I think 16 are there device collections. And if I click on any one of them, let me open all collection, all systems collection and check show more and go to where is the name of that. OK, cool. This is the one all systems collection. So that's good. Good to know, right? So we've we already found two useful queries type one as for user collection type two is for device collections and we checked this now let me let me try to resize this thing a bit right so that we can see the logs live let me try to check the orchestration group okay what is orchestration group? What is the type for orchestration group? Let me try to find out that. I just doing something over here and it says, okay, in okay, case select site code, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, that is the previous one because that's one minute before, right? That's again checking two. Type two is device collection. So orchestration trigger only this particular WQL query. So I don't think there will be any specific instance for orchestration. Okay, one is there. Probably this is one of the orchestration group which I created. So let's see. You can see this is the orchestration group detail. So I created that. Okay, the name of the group is server patch one, right? Yeah, this is another way to find out tables, right, in WMI to do troubleshoot further, et cetera, right? So this is very useful in terms of troubleshooting. You can see SMS identif identification, et cetera. Those tab tables are in use and you can see SMS, SMS underscore machine orchestration group is also used as a table, right? And this is not a simple query, right? WQL query, basically. This is very complex query, at least from my perspective, because if I if I try to copy this over here, you can see <laughs> there are different select parameters used, right? Then th these things are very complex for me. The, the SMS provider log method to find out WM WQL query is very useful to understand the complex queries and build your own complex uh, WQL queries, etc. So that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you next time. Bye bye.